How to measure for a sanctuary security screen door. This video will show you how to correctly measure an entryway and determine which sanctuary security screen door will fit. First, inspect your entry. Check for any obstructions above and around the entryway that may prevent the installation or outward swing of your security door, such as light fixtures, doorbells, low overhangs, and hanging plants. There are a number of different types of entryway setups. We will review the most common so you can determine the applicable measuring points for your application. Use the type closest to your entryway, adapting the principles covered here as needed to account for any unique features. Your security door will be mounted on the top of the existing trim and will require at least a one inch wide mounting surface all around. Stucco molding, as shown in the diagram, typically comes in two configurations. The first type of application is mounted between the stucco pop-outs. The rough opening width for this type is the distance across the existing entryway door from inside edge to inside edge of the door jams. The second type of stucco molding application is mounted through the stucco pop-outs. The rough opening width for this type is the distance between the existing stucco pop-outs from inside edge to inside edge. The installation may require extra long one-way screws to reach the studs through the stucco pop-outs. For a flat trim surface, the rough opening width is the distance between the existing flat molding trim from inside edge to inside edge. Finally, if you have slope trim, as shown in the diagram, the slope trim must be replaced with flat trim to properly mount your security door. Carefully measure the rough opening width and height using the following guidelines. To determine the rough opening width, measure the top, middle, and bottom of the door opening. The smallest of these three measurements will be your rough opening width. Record this measurement for your reference. Next, measure for the rough opening height. Measure from the bottom edge of the top mounting surface to the existing threshold of your entry door and record this measurement for your reference. Once you have measured for height and width, refer to the chart shown to determine which model and sizes will fit your opening. If your opening height and width measurements are within the rough opening fit range listed for the size and model in question, that call size will fit your opening when properly installed. If none of the security doors listed will fit, you have a non-standard size opening and will need to order a custom size security door using the rough opening measurements you just recorded. Regardless of which model you have chosen, it's best to check for potential hardware interference issues at this point, as it may impact which hardware you choose for your security door. Standard security door handle height is 39 and 1 half inches. To check for potential interference with your main entry door handle, measure from the threshold to the center of the handle on the existing entry door. A measurement within 38 and a half and 40 and 1 half inches may result in interference. If you do encounter a hardware interference issue, you may do one or more of the following. Select as low profile a hardware set as possible for your security door, keeping in mind that the paddle style handles feature a profile less likely to cause interference than knob style handles. Switch your main entry door hardware to a lower profile unit. Build out the trim on your mounting surface to create more clearance. Mount your security door with an opposite swing or install a security screen door with pool code handle height of 54 inches. And that's all there is to measuring your entryway for a sanctuary security screen door.